one person on. And you guys will need a yoga mat. If you have like a belt or a towel, um, like a beach towel, like a longer towel, you might need want that. And um, grab some pillows and blankets as usual. Hi guys. And let's see, what else do I have? Um, if you have yoga blocks, you will need them. If you don't have yoga blocks, maybe uh, you just need your feet to be lifted off the ground slightly. So um, either with pillows or if you have like a really small ottoman or like maybe even a couple books nearby, I would keep those for the end. Um, and I posted the Spotify link if you guys want music. Um, I won't be playing music in the background here. So if you want the music, I'll let you know when to start that. I'm still trying to do this whole live thing on YouTube. I thought it would be like a lot easier and it's like not that easy, so. Yeah, whatever, I'm giving up on it. Okay, so like I said, if you need the music, um, start playing that now. And we're going to start laying down on our backs today. Just lay down, relax. So a quote that really resonated with me this week was from Peter Pan and it says the moment you doubt whether you can fly you cease forever to be able to do it and that quote just really spoke to me you know with all this craziness happening in the world and um, you know there's so much sadness like you need to be able to find hope and if you don't have that hope within yourself, you won't be able to do certain things. So, you know, whether it be in a business, you know, if you're not hopeful and always looking forward, you're not going to accomplish too much, you know, having a pity party with yourself about, you know, COVID and your sales or whatever. Or the same um, in yoga, you know, there's poses that are hard for everybody, but if, let's take like a handstand for example if um, automatically I go we're doing handstands today and you start going oh my god I can't do that there's no way I'll ever do that that already your body is already defeated your mind is already defeated and you won't ever be able to accomplish that so if you have that sl like sliver of hope and you know confidence within yourself you can accomplish anything And start to wiggle all your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, come up to a nice seated position. And we're just going to take an easy pose here when you're ready. And take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. That felt pretty good. Let's do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. Inside out. 
So we're gonna add a little neck stretch here. Just take your right hand over your left ear and just pull slightly towards the right shoulder. It might be opposite for you on your screen. And on your exhale, come back through center, releasing the hands and just stretch that other side of your neck out. Not pulling too hard. And on your exhale, come back through center. Inhale with the arms up. Exhale, drop your right hand on your screen. I think it's your left. And just open up to the side. Really stretch the side body here. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop it down to the other side. Inhale, arms up. Bring it back through center. And come over onto your hands and knees. And we're just going to do a few cat cows here. So inhale, tailbone lifts, chin lifts, belly drops. Exhale, press the ground away from you. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's do one more. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to a neutral table. Dig your fingertips into the ground. Lift your left arm up into the sky. Cross your body and thread your needle here. Can extend your right arm up towards the top of your mat if you like. Press the back of your hand into the floor and just breathe here. On your next exhale, bring your right hand under your shoulder, left arm lifts up to the sky, bring it back to neutral table. Other side. Lift your right arm up to the sky, thread your needle, extend the left arm long, on your next exhale bring your left hand back under your shoulder. Right arm sweeps up to the sky and bring it back to center. From here, we're going to come back um, on our knees, standing up tall. Left arm, or left arm, <laughs> left leg is going to go out to the side, toes pointing towards the front of your mat, so your foot is parallel with your mat. And your knee, your back foot is pointing towards the back of your mat. So we're going to come into gate pose, lifting our right arm up and sliding this left hand down our left leg and just try to bend it over to the side. We're really just focusing on this side body stretch. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Two more breaths here. And on your last exhale,
exhale, bring your arms back down, other leg goes out. So gate pose on the opposite side, left arm up, slide your right hand down your right thigh, or whatever side you're on is okay. As long as you're hitting both sides, it's all the same. And you want to feel a really nice stretch through your ribs, your lats. One more breath. And on your exhale, bring your arms back to middle. Knee comes in to meet the other one. And we're going to sink back into a child's pose here. When you're ready, press up and back into down dog. This is our first down dog of the day, so make sure to pedal those heels out. Hamstrings might be tight. Press the floor away from you. If you need to bend the knees, find any movement here that feels good. And on your next exhale, bend your knees, look up, walk your feet up to your hands, and come into ragdoll here. Bend the knees, grab opposite elbows, maybe sway side to side or front and back for a little bit. Take one more breath here. And on your next inhale, rise up to mountain pose. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Plank to chaturanga. You can drop your knees if you need to. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for five breaths. Try to push those heels towards the mat. Pull the belly button into your spine. Dig the fingertips into the floor. One more breath in. And on your exhale, bend your knees, look up. Jump or step up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, mountain pose. Take a breath here. Let it go. Inhale, rise up, sink the hips back, coming into chair pose. Exhale, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Can drop to the knees. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Activating the glutes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg comes up to the sky for three legged dog. Sweep it through. Plant the back heel, come up warrior one. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts to the sky this time, three-legged dog. Sweep it through, plant the heel, warrior one. Exhale, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, 
cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog for five breaths. Really press the hips up towards the ceiling. One more breath. And on your next exhale, bend your knees, look up, jump or step up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, mountain pose. Take three breaths here. Grab some water if you need to. And from mountain, we're gonna step our right foot back, open up to the side, kind of in a sumo squat position into goddess pose. So you're going to sink down, open up, lift. Down, lift. This is what it looks like straight on. And hold the last one. So squeezing those shoulder blades together, activating the inner thigh, pressing into your heels. And from here, coming back onto my mat <laughs> to match you guys, we're gonna lift the legs straight, toes parallel or feet parallel, and come into a wide-legged forward fold. Now, if you have a block near you or you know something low to the ground and you can't quite touch the ground, you can always put a block right here. Or you can just go on fingertips and you can always bend your knees, always bend your knees. Take another breath here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn your front foot at the top of your mat out. Come into warrior two. Strong arms here. Pressing out energetically through both fingertips here. Both sets of fingertips, I guess. On your next exhale, flip your front palm. Keep the bend in the knee and reverse your warrior. One more breath. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, coming into that low runner's lunge. Step it back. Vinyasa, plank to chaturanga. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. On your next exhale, bend your knees, look up. Jump or step up to the top. And we're gonna take goddess again. So opening up to the side. And we're going to do three squats here. So bring it down, open up, lifting the chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Wide legged forward fold. On your next exhale, rise up, turn the back foot towards the back of the mat, which will now be our front, and come into a warrior two. Making sure your heel is in line with that instep, looking over that front hand or out to the side. And on your next exhale, flip your front palm 
and reverse your warrior. Sliding that back hand down to the back of your thigh. Exhale, low lunge. Step it back, vinyasa or not. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. On your next exhale, bend your knees, look up. Jump or step up to the top. So I'm facing away from you now. We're gonna run through that sequence on each side one more time. So open up into goddess, squat down, lift, squat, lift. And wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Turn out the front foot towards the front of the mat. Warrior two. Flip your front palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Cartwheel the hands down, low lunge, vinyasa, or just meet us in down dog. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. And then drop down into a child's pose here. Just take a moment to reset. And when you're ready, press up and back into down dog. Walk the feet up to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. And inhale, sink back into chair. Now, if you have shoulder pain, shoulders are tired, you can always bring your hands to center. Take a deep breath in, let it go. So we're gonna keep in chair, try to sink back on those heels, like you're sitting in like a low stool, keeping the chest up. We're gonna add eagle arms to our chair. So arms out in front of you. You're gonna take your left arm under your right elbow, and you're gonna try to bring your hands together as if you were clapping. So left elbow under right elbow. Try to grasp the hands together. If your hands have no chance, and this hurts a lot, you can always just give yourself a little hug here. It's the same thing. And then if you're in these eagle arms with elbow over elbow, try to lift the elbows up just a little bit really stretching out the upper body, really working it hard. Sink a little deeper in that chair. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more time. Inhale. 
Exhale, unwrap the arms, shake it out, come up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. And shake it out a little bit here. Chair with eagle arms is not easy. But we always have that modification. And you can use this if you're on the right side or on the left. It's an easy swap. And it's okay if you can't do eagle arms on one side, you can on the other, do it then. So you have this modification for one side and you can do your regular for the other. All right, so inhale, chair pose. Sink even lower if you can. Lifting all 10 toes and spreading them wide off the floor. Digging into those heels. Really engaging the core here. We're gonna add equal arms on the other side. So right elbow under left. And this is my weaker side. See, I have like no chance in connecting these hands. Woo, okay. Lift the elbows if you can, or take the modification. Inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, keep lifting those elbows up. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, let it go, fold it over. Take a moment here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, mountain pose. Shake it out. We're gonna take this one step further. So sink back into chair. Inhale, sink to chair. Exhale. On your next inhale, wrap left elbow under right for eagle arms. Exhale. Now we're gonna come into eagle. We're one step away. So we're gonna take our right knee, cross it over our left, squeezing that thigh, and trying to wrap the top of our foot behind our calf. Now I cannot wrap the top of the foot behind my calf, but what I do is I just squeeze, I don't know if you guys can see, extra hard, and I let my foot go where it needs to. Lift the elbows, one more breath here, inhale, Exhale, unwrap the arms, unwrap the legs, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, mountain pose. Shake it out. Woo! Does that make sense to you guys? All right. We're gonna do that one more time on the other side. So inhale, chair pose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, wrapping our right elbow under our left. Exhale, and we're taking our left knee, we're still staying in that bent knee by the way. Left knee crosses over the right thigh and just trying to wrap but letting that foot rest where it needs to. Again, you can take the modification here, or if the legs are not working for you, then just keep chair legs. One more breath here, lift the elbows, inhale, exhale, let it go, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, mountain pose. Grab some water if you need to. Woo, I'm sweating, y'all. Grab some coffee if you need to. All right. From here, we're gonna drop it down into a plank. So step back into plank, high plank. And we're gonna hold this 
You can do it. 30 seconds. And if you already thought to yourself, well, I can't do that. What did we already talk about? You can do anything you set your mind to. As soon as you let that doubt creep in, it already becomes more difficult. Dig the fingertips into the ground. Press the floor away. Firm up the thighs. Exhale, chaturanga. Drop it down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. You guys held that for 30 seconds. Exhale, down dog. Pedal it out here. And from down dog, we're going to come into dolphin. So it's a variation of down dog. We're going to drop into like a forearm plank. Fingers, palms together, and we're going to press through, press our head and neck through our little gate we have here, and just walk the feet in as far as you can. You can always bend knees here too to keep your back flat. This is dolphin. Take one more breath here. Exhale, child's pose. Wrapping the arms around the heels and resting. Just relax here. Now we're going to go through that one more time. Bring your hands to the front of the mat in child. And come up into that high plank when you are ready. Starting the timer now. Separate the shoulder blades, engage the core. Press out through that back heel. You can do this. We're already halfway. It's only 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Deep breath in, let it go. One last breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Come into that forearm plank, palms together, bring your head through the gate that your shoulders created, and tiptoe your feet in towards you, coming into dolphin, and you can bend your knees if you need to. Take one more breath, sink it back, child's pose. another breath here and when you're ready come into a seated position feet towards the front of the mat make sure you have your blocks preferably stacked together at the side of your mat and keep your strap nearby So we're going to come laying all the way down. Make sure you have enough room on your mat. Bringing the soles of the feet to your mat, palms facing down next to your hips. 
And we're gonna lift up for bridge. So press into the heels, lift the hips. Really dig those heels into the ground. Two more breaths here. And on your last exhale, drop it down. Extend the legs long. Maybe shake it out a little bit. We're going to bring our hands right near our glutes and we're going to lift our legs up to the sky together keeping them up and we're going to let them drop towards the floor ever so slow inhale lift up Exhale, drop it towards the floor, slow. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop it towards the floor. Last time, hold it near the floor and let it go. Whew. Maybe shake out the hips a little bit here. Whew. Bring your knees into your chest. You can tuck your chin in towards the knees, really hug it in. Maybe move side to side a little bit. Maybe circle the hips a little bit. And then bring the soles of your feet back onto the floor laying down. From here, we're going to come into our peak pose. So you want to take your blocks and put them on the middle of the mat. Well, the center of the mat towards the front. And we're going to put our feet on the outer edges of these blocks. And we're going to lift up for bridge again. So press through the heels. Feet are just on the outside of the blocks. Press the palms into the floor. Exhale, drop it down. And this time we're going to put our feet on those blocks or whatever object you have. So we're just lifting. Actually, let me do this. So I ended up putting my blocks side to side in case you guys were wondering. It's more comfortable for me. So feet are on blocks. And we're going to move our butt a little bit towards the blocks. So you probably want to be a foot away, your butt from the blocks. And we're just going to press into those heels and lift up like we would for a bridge. So you're basically doing a bridge on top of blocks. Heels press into the floor. Sorry, palms pressed into the floor, sorry. And you guys are doing a supported shoulder stand. Now, had I told you you were doing a shoulder stand from the get-go, would you have freaked out? Would you have thought, I can't do this? Maybe. Maybe not. And drop it down. We'll come into this one more time. If you uh, are having any pain around your shoulders or neck, you can always put a blanket right underneath your shoulders just for a little extra cushion there inhale lift the hips press down through the heels coming up into the supported shoulder stand now if you have a real shoulder stand that you want to take here you can if you have no idea what shoulder stand looks like that's okay just stay here. And then drop it back down. 
and move the blocks out of the way. Move your blanket out of the way and just lay flat for a moment. Take a happy baby here to grabbing the outer edges of the feet, arms on the inside of the knees, knees go out wide, pressing your feet up towards the ceiling, and just rock side to side a little bit. need to take one leg at a time, go ahead. And then bring both feet to the floor, knees together. Arms can be out in a T or if you want to take cactus arms here. Lean your knees over and all of your legs fall over to the left. For a little spinal twist here. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, drop it over to the other side. Really trying to keep those shoulder blades on the ground. Inhale, come back up through center. And bring your knees into your chest. Congratulate yourself on doing something new and exciting today. And then lay your legs flat on the floor and sit up. And you want your toes flexed towards your shins. And we're going to take both hands next to our hips and we're going to press out through our heels, press into the floor and try to like lift ourselves up off of the ground. Now you probably won't lift yourself up. I'm not lifting myself up, but we're just engaging the core, stretching the shoulders, stretching the back, and stretching out the legs for staff pose, Tadasana. Take one more breath here. Exhale, let it go. And then let that go, shake it out. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, come into a seated forward bend. And you can bend your knees here. Or if you have a strap handy, I'm using a belt if you don't have a strap at home. Um, and you can go right over your arches of your feet and just flex your toes back towards your shins and pull your feet towards you. And if you lean forward ever so slightly, you will feel an extra stretch in your hamstrings. On your next exhale, let that go. Set your belt out to the side. 
and we're gonna flip over onto our bellies laying all the way down and bringing your elbows underneath your shoulders palms flat on the floor and coming into that sphinx pose pulling your elbows in towards your ribs pressing into the floor with those fingertips tucking your chin in just a little bit you might get a double chin here but that's okay no one else is watching take a deep breath in let it go lay flat down let your arms fall by your sides turn your head to one side And then press back into child's pose. Ready. Lay down on your back or find any position that's comfortable for you for your final Shavasana, corpse pose. Could be legs up the wall. Could be laying with your feet on the floor, knees knocked in towards one another. Whatever feels good. The moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. Just always keep that quote in mind when you start, you know, having these thoughts of doubt and I can't do that and, you know, maybe your goal is to lose 100 pounds or, and you're like, that is so impossible. Nothing is impossible. You can do whatever you set your mind to. And even whenever that doubt starts to creep in, just push it to the side. Fill your thoughts with positivity and just keep trying to move forward in any way that you can. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take another deep breath in. You can pretend it's all of your doubts, your fears, your worries. And exhale, let it go. Start to bring some movement back to your toes, to your fingers, shake out your hips a little. And when you're ready, roll over onto one side.
press yourself up and come into that easy seated pose, keeping your eyes closed. Sitting up tall. If you need a little bit more grounding today, maybe keep your palms towards the floor. If you need a little more energy to get through today, maybe flip your palms up towards the sky. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. I want to thank you all for coming to practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed this flow class. Namaste.